Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in northern Dearborn County, Indiana, where we came across this old phantom bridge. Check it out. Before we talk about this old bridge, let's talk about what defines a ghost road and a phantom bridge. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water, such as a stream or a creek. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. This is a rather unique video we have here in that it includes a phantom bridge, a ghost road, and the remains of a demolished steel truss bridge all within 100 yards of each other. This portion of North Dearborn Road was bypassed in 1989 when the road was realigned and a new concrete bridge was built over the East Fork of Tanner's Creek. The original section of the road, which was barely one lane wide, clung to the edge of the hillside between the two bridges, one crossing over Ennis Creek and the other over the East Fork of Tanner's Creek. The still standing Phantom Bridge is a bedstead Pratt pony truss about 30 feet long, one lane, and spans Ennis Creek. It's now blocked off and apparently sits on private property. I have no idea when this bridge was built, but I'm guessing in the 1920s. The bridge sits on stone abutments with a center concrete pier for additional support. The western stone abutment has been encased in concrete at some point after construction. The former road is still quite visible and easily noticed in the winter when the foliage has died back. On the west side of the ghost road is a large cut stone bridge abutment that once supported a steel through truss bridge constructed in 1890. The bridge built by the Smith Bridge Company of Toledo, Ohio, was a single-span, pin-connected Pratt through truss with a wooden deck that was 100 feet long. The West Bridge abutment was concrete, but it has been totally removed from the site after the demolition. Fortunately, when I moved to the area in 1988, I had the privilege of driving over the bridge many times before it was demolished in 1989. Unfortunately, I personally did not get any pictures of the bridge at that time. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. See you next time. Mm -hmm.